Now let's get into this officer, what they told you, and um, and elaborate on this information. Uh, shall do. Um, I got a call uh, the day before yesterday in the morning uh, from this officer, a former officer. He's retired. Um, but uh, he was uh, quite upset that uh, one of the people he'd encouraged to join the military was being squeezed out, that he was uh, forced to resign his commission. And uh, it was because a question was asked of him. Now, I've called it a litmus test, but basically what it is, he was asked if in a scenario, if in a situation uh, where the military was called upon to go and confront people who were armed, uh, American citizens who would not relinquish their arms, uh, in spite of the Second Amendment right to uh, hold arms, uh, would you fire on American citizens? Uh, this gentleman uh, related to me that the officer was totally uh, uh, flummoxed that he would be asked this question, and, and he said uh, his answer was, no, I would not fire on American citizens. That It was my military contact who said it is so obvious to him, so obvious to the man that was resigning, that what they were setting up was a takeover, a total takeover, uh, by Obama uh, and using the military to uh, have it happen. And if the military will not, if they'll not give the right answer to this litmus test, they've got a whole army of young kids who don't know any better ready to move in. Wait a minute. So, so your military source knows about the FEMA Corps. Uh, uh, now, now, this isn't secret, but it's not well known to the public. Describe what he told you about that, about uh, the, the Yugen squads from about, what, 17 down to 14. Well, his words exactly were, here's the Hitler youth being resurrected now under this name of Obama Corps. That's exactly what he said. Oh, my. This is devastating. I've got family that told me years ago I was right about everything, but now won't even talk to me who's in the Army. Uh, I mean, this is because, because they've been passed over promotion just because they're related to me. And uh, I, I mean, this is amazing that this is going on. And you know... The vice president of my company in the U.S. is a guy named Eric Rush, who happens to be a, a black guy who is a journalist in your country. Well, you know what I did for him yesterday? I purchased him an AR-15 and a sidearm because I am so worried about the things that are being said right now. He's out there putting it out through uh, World Net Daily, I think's the name, um, putting the word out, letting people know the dangers of what, are you ready for this, what China is demanding of Obama. No, no, no. China, China, we broke it a month ago, the Drudge Report, DrudgeReport.com link to it. Their People's Daily, I know you're in China and been there, you know it. Their TV said, you will, get, quote, have a war against your gun owners. We're ready to back you. They're the biggest owner of the debt. And then, and then I've got a Daily Beast article where they said, it's good that Piers Morgan is leading the anti-gun deal. We need to get Americans used to foreigners running things. I mean, this is insane. Go, break down what's happening in China. Oh, what's happening in China is they know, uh, well, first of all, do you know that the Chinese call uh, Obama the monkey man? Do you know that? I've seen it, that it, in the news, yes. Yeah, it has nothing to do with him being black. It has everything to do with the way they treat monkeys. Monkeys are like puppets in China. So Obama is looked upon as a puppet of China. That's how he's looked upon. And they know full well that when he comes hat in hand, begging for more dollars, they're going to make more demand. The information that's available to some people about what's going on in China and how they're treating the American uh, land and the American uh, resources, they're treating it as this, it is something which they will be able to grab sometime soon. And so the fact that they now have five special economic zones throughout uh, the United States, uh, you've got to be aware of what's happening. The fact that Discussions have taken place with uh, Obama and uh, some of his officials in China to talk about. The NAFTA superhighway is their invasion route from the Pacific side of Mexico right into the U.S., and they're going to be brought in. I've talked to top officers, but it's even in the Washington Post, agreements to bring in, under NLE 09, troops from 15 nations to quell domestic unrest. That's at FEMA.gov. Mm -hmm. And guess who was on the list of the 15 nations? Who? <laughs> wouldn't be China, would it? Oh, yeah. Uh, th that's what I'm telling listeners. It's all, and, and people say that'll never happen. Once no, they start a civil been. war, it will. Yeah, it's already happening. They're setting it up for civil war. They're setting it up to take away uh, the freedom of the American people. And Obama, he doesn't believe in freedom. The Chinese are demanding that Obama take control of the guns because as they move in and steal the resources of America, sorry, yeah. 
buy them, buy them out in satisfaction of the debt, which Obama knows full well he cannot pay. When you know you're not going to be able to pay your credit card, why don't you run it up as far as you can? As long as they're saying yes, right? get as much goodies as you possibly can. That's the mindset of Obama. Well, and he knows full well he will never have to actually pay the debt. All he has to do is say, hey, we've already shut down the oil industry. They're not uh, drilling. We'll give you permission to drill. We've already destroyed the coal industry in America. So come, take the coal. You can use it. It's a better coal than you have in China. They need it. They need the resources of America, and that's what they are demanding from Obama. You are right on the money. And, and keep in mind something. Yamamoto was right when he said, you don't want to invade America because behind every blade of grass there will be a gun. And you know the Chinese know full well that's exactly the situation with America right now. Obama knows. He's got his marching orders. He's been told to take your guns. He's been told to, to have your people crushed so that the Chinese can do what they want. Action speaks louder than words. If Obama wants to take practical measures to control guns, he has to make preparation for a protracted war and considerable political cost. Then they go on to say the Chinese government's ready to help. There's a huge, I'm, I'm going to say it because there's the word, there's conspiracy, there's complicity all over the United States. And, you know, your poor military people are sitting there. They know, they are aware, they know the manipulation, they know the expectation that they will be called upon to move against the American people. These people are heart sick. They're heart sick of the portent of having to turn their guns against their own people. And so they're walking out in droves, Alex, 